Hi everyone, today I thought I'd do a little quick video showing you that I've got the extra accessories that I was missing. So Elsa has her shoes. They are pretty and clear and kind of icy looking. Disney Store sent um, another one out to me. And here she is. She looks very pretty and she's going to look much better on her horse with two shoes instead of one. <laughs> but I mostly wanted to talk about the icy girls. So the icy girls, this was the first one I got that was missing her earrings. And I decided to change her up a little bit. So now she has, um, I took her hair out and then I put it up in a ponytail. I found these num num earrings, um, which were with my candy, my um, my spare candy luscious had these. I don't have a spare candy luscious anymore, but I did at one stage. So I actually still had her earrings. So I decided to put these on Icy Girl and I think they look really good. They actually really suit her. Um, and they are some of the cutest earrings ever. Um, I left her with just this top on because I really like this top and the jacket covers it up. Not that I don't love the jacket, but I really like the top as well. And she has her little gloves on. And you can't really put the gloves on with this. Well, you can with great difficulty. Because I have seen some people on Instagram and they said it took me a long time, but I managed to do it. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to go through that stress. So, yeah, I thought I'd leave this one with the gloves. Um, and I just put her little trousers on with her shoes. And then I've sat her in a chair, although she does have a stand. I thought it'd be cute to put her in a, a chair with Olaf because he's the perfect companion for her. Um, because obviously she's very frosty and icy. Um, then I got this doll and she has her earrings. Here they are. So they are blue with white accents. She has like a frosty, drippy, icy bit on top. Like it looks like snow. And then a bit more white on the bottom. And then the middle bit's blue. They look really pretty. I think mean, they look very, they look very cold. Kind of like icicles, like I said. And she's really pretty too. Her eye is a little bit messed up there, but I mean, I think every single doll has some sort of defect. I think it's hard to get a perfect doll, to be honest with you. And I don't think I showed you the accessories when I did my video because I was a bit stressed about the earrings. So she came with this comb, which is the same as a stand, which is white and sparkly and clear. And then a blue stand, a blue hanger and a pink hanger. Pink hanger is really pretty. Also, these two garment bags as well. Um, but when I got the second doll, she actually had broken glasses. So, yeah, her glasses were broken. They both look kind of broken anyway. Like, ne neither of them look very straight. So, yeah, she had broken glasses and she had missing earrings. So, both of the dolls had something wrong with them, which is really sad. So, I'm really hoping um, there's not loads of dolls with problems with them. Like I said, I've got two dolls so far and both of them had things wrong with them. Because like I said, if I'd got her, I just I would have been missing the earrings. And if I'd just got her, I would have been having broken glasses. So, But between the two of them, I have a complete doll. So, but like I said, you can't like, you don't want to buy more than one. You want to just have the one, don't you? So I'm hoping there's not going to be disappointed people at Christmas who've got these dolls for Christmas. So... And there's a reason why I haven't got them for Christmas because I didn't want to be disappointed because I've had lots of problems in the past with these dolls and I know that, you know, it's not worth the risk and I don't want to have to open it before Christmas to check it. So I decided not to get any for Christmas, just get them before and then get other things instead for Christmas that I can actually see in the box. That's the only thing I don't like about these dolls, the fact that if the doll was in the box with the earrings on, you wouldn't have the earrings missing because you'd be able to see in the box if you know what I mean. So that, I just wish they were just, I wish they weren't blind boxed. I really do. Because that is the thing that bothers me the most, the fact that you can have missing accessories because they're blind boxed. Because you can't always trust that they'll put them in because they don't always. I've had it a few times where things have been missing. And I think when stuff's missing or broken, it's the worst thing, really. It's worse than having like a slight paint defect to me anyway so but yeah at least I've sorted it out now and I'm really happy with my dolls and I really like both my icy girls I think they're really pretty this hat is so fluffy I don't even think I looked at the hat properly actually so it's really fluffy and it's quite flat on top white and fluffy and it does have these little flaps coming down the sides 
it is so fuzzy and then it has these silver strings on it with these little white pom-poms like i said i don't even think i reviewed it in the video that's how stressed i was there she is without the hat and it just kind of sits on her head if you put it over a fringe kind of pull it forward slightly it does stay on but if you're going to be moving around with her and playing it's not going to stay on her head <laughs> definitely not I think um, Ink Pad's Play Pad said that she put an elastic band around it to keep it on her head, which is a quite a good idea, but she said it didn't look as good as she thought it would. So I'm guessing it kind of squished it down a bit too much. But I mean, if you're only putting her on the shelf, it's fine like that. I just, it's not really, doesn't really stand her head that well though, otherwise. <laughs> but I think it's really cute. I love it. I love her. I love her hat. It's amazing. I love anything fuzzy. <laughs> Very cute. Especially white and fuzzy because it just reminds me of snow <laughs> which is really pretty um, and I'm sorry about my hands they are a little sore at the moment I have flare-ups with my hands because I have I have dermatitis so when I get my hands wet they get really dry and sore and obviously at the moment and I have OCD so I wash my hands a lot and then at the moment with everything that's going on I have to wash my hands twice as much <laughs> so yeah so that's why I'm sorry that they don't look that great but um I hope you've enjoyed the video anyway um I just wanted to have a little rant about the about the parts that are broken and missing let, let me know down below if you've had any missing parts or broken parts or especially with this new series like I said I'm just hoping it's um I'm hoping they're not all like it because that'll be really sad because you know, it's not very nice on Christmas to get stuff like that because you can't. Um... And the other thing as well, a lot of the time with stuff like this, with these OMG dolls, I'd imagine after Christmas, they're probably going to be quite hard to find for a little while. But it's not like they're going to have them straight in stock straight after Christmas. Because I know that when I used to work at Toys R Us, you'd sell out of tons of stuff and then you wouldn't get it back in for quite a while. So um, and I'd imagine a lot of places will be similar to that, especially the hot toys. Like, they're not going to be able to get them back in straight away. So even if, if you did get one of these dolls and there was something broken or missing, you're not going to be able to return it. Like, you might have to return it and not get another one because you might not be able to get the same thing. So I'd maybe suggest checking the accessories beforehand just to make sure they're all there. Because, I mean, you could probably deal with slight paint defects, but if there's earrings missing or the hat's missing... Or, but like I said, most of the... I've only had missing pieces in this box. I've never ever had like, I've never had shoes missing or, or garments missing. It's only ever been the accessories in the little box missing. So this is what you should, if you want to try and check that they're there before Christmas, it's best to check in this little box and make sure they're in there just for peace of mind. Because like I said, if I'd got anything for Christmas, if I've got any of these for Christmas, I definitely would have checked the box before. And I didn't really want to have to half open it just to check the box. So I decided not to get them for Christmas. But yeah, if you're going to, I would definitely check the box just for peace of mind. I mean, my kids don't really like dolls anymore, but if they did, I would definitely check the box beforehand just to make sure that they're definitely in there because I wouldn't want them being really upset and, you know, disappointed on Christmas Day because it's not very nice well not very nice to be disappointed and at any time of the year but especially not on Christmas you don't want to be disappointed so I hope you've enjoyed the video I'm sorry I've rambled on <laughs> but um yeah it just bugs me I just really think wish they would uh check stuff before they send it to these companies to sell to people because uh it don't take long to check stuff to make sure it's there because they've probably got tons of the accessories in the warehouses and sometimes I guess it just gets forgotten about but they just need to double check just to make sure they're definitely in there because it's just it's just annoying so yeah like I said I hope you've liked the video make sure you comment and some um subscribe and like if you if you like the video um hope to see you again in the next one bye everyone